I'm back at the stove. Kathleen Hart here from the Little Piece of Heart blog. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of my favorite side dishes. It is another cauliflower rice dish. Today it's going to be cauliflower fried rice. Just like how you would get from a Chinese food restaurant, except this is made at home with fresh ingredients, with cauliflower instead of rice, and I guarantee this will satisfy your takeout craving if you're having one, and you can still stay healthy and on track with your low-carb lifestyle. Let's, let me show you some of the ingredients that we're going to be using. We have some finely chopped garlic here. I have my cauliflower, which I've grated and made into rice. If you missed how to do that, go to my previous YouTube video. I'll actually put the link below so you can learn how to do it. We have some peas and carrots here. Now you can use fresh or you can use frozen. That's totally up to you. I'm actually using frozen peas today and fresh carrots. We have some white onion that I've sliced in pretty large chunks. I have two, um, two scrambled eggs here that I've just whipped really quick with a fork. We have salt and pepper and we have some soy sauce. So let's get started. We want to take a wok or a big skillet like this with high sides and you want to put it on high heat with about a tablespoon of olive oil in that. So let's get this heated up and let's get started. Our skillet is nice and hot. The oil is smoking, which is exactly what we want. And we want to add our onion in. The key to this dish is keeping it moving. We have a skillet that's on very hot heat. It's on high. So we want to keep everything moving. We don't want anything to burn. That's also why I'm using a big dish like this, like a wok. If you have a wok, use that. I find that this skillet is the perfect size for this. We're going to keep moving our onions around for a couple minutes until they soften. Our onions are nice and soft. They're getting a little bit translucent. So now is the time when we want to add in that garlic. Right in. Might get some cauliflower in there, but that's okay. That's going to be the next thing that we add. We want to stir this garlic around just for about 30 seconds until it gets warmed through and incorporated with the onions. Okay. All right, next we're adding in all of our cauliflower. Right in. And then as soon as we add it in, we want to give this a good stir because we want the cauliflower to all get mixed in with the onions and the garlic. We want to keep moving. We don't want to stop stirring this. And we want to do that for another two minutes until the cauliflower gets nice and warmed through and starts to cook. Now that the cauliflower is nice and hot, we want to add in our peas and our carrots, just right in. Give this a good stir, and it's not going to take long for these to warm through. That's all we really want to do. Just warm everything through, keep it moving. Really colorful at this point. Beautiful. Everything has been cooking together. I'm just going to give it a toss. Now this is an optional ingredient, the eggs. You could certainly skip this step, but for traditional fried rice, I love when there's little bits of scrambled egg in there. So I'm definitely going to add it in. Make a little well. Add in your scrambled egg. It's just egg that I whisk, because I didn't put any milk or anything in it. And you want to just kind of move it around. The skillet is really hot, so this isn't going to take time at all. So I want to just kind of move it around like this and then incorporate it into the rest of the rice like this, just by folding it, folding it into the center. And this is going to create a lot of scrambled eggness all through this rice. It's going to be really, really good. And just like that, our egg is mixed in. Some of the cauliflower is getting a nice deep brown color. That's exactly what we want. This is fried cauliflower rice. Beautiful. So to this, I'm not going to add any salt yet, only because we are going to be adding soy sauce. So I don't want to make it too salty. So for right now, I'm just going to season everything with some black pepper. Give that a nice mix. And then we're going to go in with our soy sauce. And by adding in the soy sauce, it's also going to kind of deglaze the pan a little bit. So we're going to get all that, those bits off the bottom of the pan. Now that smells like amazing fried rice right there. That's how we're going to get the brown color on the cauliflower and the signature taste of the fried rice. Okay. 
And I'm going to add in just a little bit more soy sauce. You kind of just have to eyeball it, depending on how much cauliflower and everything you have, because everyone's going to have, might not have the exact same amount. So, there we go. You want everything to be coated, that nice, deep brown color of the soy sauce. And just like that, we are done. Let's get this plated up. Gorgeous. Look at that. It even looks identical to fried rice. There's a lot of steam coming off of this. We had a hot skillet. This is the perfect side dish. This will go with chicken, beef, pork, whatever your heart desires. This is phenomenal. It smells delicious. I want to taste this right now. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It looks exactly like fried rice that you would get from any Chinese takeout. It's very hot. The flavor's there. Mmm. It's so good. That soy sauce, it's so simple, but it's exactly what they use at a Chinese food restaurant. And this will rival any takeout that you get. You saw what I put in there. All healthy ingredients. I know exactly what's in this bowl. It's all veggies, a little bit of egg, some soy sauce, and you're good to go. The link below will have the exact measurements for this recipe on my blog. I will also put how to cauliflower rice down there too, so you can see that in case you want to learn that. And if you go to my blog, you can find tons more recipes. Go subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on a new video. Check some of my past videos out. And I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a great day.